What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be talking about how to switch things around when you're mid round and you're losing. And I actually had a sparring session today where I had to do this. I had to make adjustments mid round and was successful with it. No, the rounds today were not what gave me the black eye. I actually got that in sparring a couple days ago from some sort of forearm up to the eyebrow and now all the blood is pooling down. Definitely makes me look like I just had a full on fight, but we want to make these adjustments. We want to learn how to make these adjustments mid round so that when you're losing, you don't get caught in this vicious cycle spiraling downwards towards a loss. So today's episode is going to be so important for everybody. So losing one round, it's not the end of the world, especially if you're in sparring and you're gonna be cycling to other people or coming back, there's time for adjustment in the fight, a little bit more worrisome, and we wanna make sure that what does not happen is a bad first round, which leads to a worse second round, which leads to a really bad third round or possibly a KO along the way. And a lot of people get caught up in trying to force things or they get in their own head and they can't make the adjustments. So we're gonna break down today the process that I think everybody should go through to make those changes and go from a bad situation to a much better one. First off, you're mid round, you're like, shoot, things aren't going well, what do you do? You need a reset and you need to recognize, you need to get out of your own head. Me staying right in the pocket and being like, oh, okay, I'm gonna just fight through this. I'll push, push, push. I'll work on our game plan and that'll get me the victory. No, if you're not already winning, most likely that's not gonna help. You need a little reset. I would suggest just a pullback and just a reminder, okay, you know what? I need to refocus. I need to make sure that I don't continue to do what we were just doing. I think it's really as simple as that. Just taking that moment to go, this is not working and I have to make an adjustment. That's the first step. Because if you don't recognize that, you're not gonna do all the following steps. The next thing which you should try and do is stop trying to force whatever was happening before and try to make sure you're not going, oh, I have to be dominant the whole fight. And the only way to do that is to, you know, truck forward and push, push, push. That is when people go from bad to really bad. It's usually the end result being a KO against you. We don't want that. So you need to have that reset first. And then once you've done that little reset where you backed away and you went, oh, okay, you know what? I'm going to clear my mind and start over. Then you go, okay. I'm not gonna push, I'm not gonna try and dominate right now. The focus is gonna be getting to the next stages, which I'm gonna share with you right now. So once we've done the reset and we've gone, okay, we can't work on pushing, pushing, trying to be dominant the whole time, we need a moment, a moment to have some time to contemplate, and I would suggest getting behind a couple lengthy techniques, a couple techniques that are gonna allow distance. So instead of me trying to just back up, and go, oh, I'm gonna create distance, which will tell my opponent, oh, something's wrong, I'm gonna come at this guy. We just need to stand our ground, maybe take a little step back and get behind something really lengthy, something like a front kick or some long round kicks or a really long range jab, getting ready to pull the head back. We need to have this ability to look like we're still in the fight, but give us time to come up with a new plan, a new strategy, figure out what's gonna work against this guy. The first thing I would be trying to do at this stage is establish what are they being successful with and try to stifle that. If we can't stop the main thing they're successful at, they're gonna keep winning. They've already been winning. They obviously have something that's working well for them. We need to shut that down. But if you can't do those initial stages, which I already mentioned, a lot of times you're never gonna really figure out exactly what is going entirely wrong. Because yeah, sometimes it's like, okay, it's a simple thing. The guy keeps throwing the left hook and I keep getting caught. So I'll just lift my right hand higher and that's the solution. But it's very rarely that simple. There's more to it. So we get behind those distance techniques and then we go, okay, what is happening here? What do I need to do to stop his main success? If it was, for instance, something simple, like, okay, that left hook is coming a lot, yeah. I need to make sure my hand's up, that's one aspect of it, but the other aspect is how am I gonna counter him? Or how am I gonna stop him from coming in and being able to throw that left hook? You see how this all can get very complicated? So we have that time to really sit behind those long techniques and figure out something. The next thing which we should be doing is determining which of our attacks have been working and how we're gonna continue to make those land 
well, we stop this other dude from being successful. It's a very difficult thing to do, especially when you're in the fight. You're still in the fight at this time and you're going, oh, I have to figure all this out. That's why we initially did that reset. Give yourself that moment, that time to breathe, clear your head and go, okay, you know what? I'm not gonna focus on everything else that was just happening and let it drag me down. It actually reminds me of something I just heard in Ted Lasso the other day. I was watching that fun new TV show. And at the end of the episode, Ted Lasso says to his son, after his son just missed a, a shot on goal, he said, what do we do? And the little guy says, we'd be a goldfish. And he's like, that's right. And then he runs back out there. Basically, be a goldfish in the sense that bad things that are happening, don't hold on to them. Don't let them drag you down. You've been losing the fight. Yeah, you need to recognize why you're losing and make those adjustments, but don't let it get too much in your head where you start just mentally getting broken down. And the last little point that I want to give you on top of everything else, before we get into a few more thoughts, is you can look to your corner. Now, obviously you don't wanna do that mid round where you're actually engaging in action. I don't wanna be here being like, okay, I throw some shots, I back up and like that, cause you're gonna get hit. Even if you have awesome peripheral vision, you're still eventually gonna get tagged. I'm talking about looking over there when you fall to the clench. Maybe you're in the clench, the ref comes in to break you up and you're looking over. And sometimes you don't even need to look at them constantly, but you need to look, get eye contact, so they know that you want information and they know that you can hear them because sometimes they're not gonna be as vocal as they should be. So if you get separated by the ref, you can be like, oh, and then get right back into there. And that's a great way for you to gather information and not have to do all that thought process which we already talked about all alone. Now I give you guys some pointers, some tips there when you're mid round to really make that adjustment, make that change. I honestly believe that it's not getting down on yourself. That's gonna be the big key, not going, oh, I've lost, and trying to overforce things, or just go, oh, you know, I can't win this round, and I'm just gonna try and make it out. You have to have that positive mindset, and that positive mindset is gonna come from you having rounds in the gym where you're going, okay, I'm not doing well, and then you can flip it around. An example, today I was sparring, I was sparring with a boxer, who has pretty darn good hands. And the first few rounds, I was having some trouble. He was throwing long punches and I was just kind of taking them off the gloves. When I would go to attack, he would fade back and he'd counter. And I was going, this is just not working well right now. I'm just not landing the amount of shots that I want unless I combo up. And when he throws his single shots, he's landing. This is just not good. So what I decided I needed to try was every time he entered, I was just gonna stick my jab. I was just gonna stop him. And then when I decide to actually come forward, I need to combo. Then I'll get back out, and when he comes to throw something, I need to jab, I need to stop him. And it ended up working, and my rounds improved the further we got, just because I was able to make that adjustment mid-round, go, what I'm doing is not working. Where is he having his success? How am I gonna shut him down? I'm gonna shut him down behind that. Okay, I've been having good success with my combos. I'm gonna let those fly once I get to the inside, but I gotta stop playing this one for one game back and forth because I'm not winning there. These kind of adjustments are very, very realistic, very possible, but if you don't practice in the gym, you're not gonna go into the fight and most likely be great at making these. You wanna have tough competitive rounds in the gym where you're going, shoot, ah, it's just, it's not going well, or even bad days. You have bad days when you're in there and you're like, oh, I'm getting hit, what's happening? Well, use that as a chance to rally, a chance to teach yourself not to give up, not to get down on yourself, not to get stuck in your own head, not to say, oh, I'm not allowed to have a little reset. I can't back up and reset. No, all these things are musts, I believe, when you wanna flip the script and take over in a round. And once you make a couple little minor changes, and we're talking, like everything that I just said, that can be done within like 10 to 20 seconds. And then you can start probing, start feeling out, and hopefully right away reverse going from in a losing situation to a winning situation. That's the goal. I hope you guys took a lot away from this episode. This is a hard subject to break down exactly because that's what happens in my head. It doesn't mean it's gonna work exactly for you, but try it out, see if it works. If you enjoyed the episode, please give it a like. If you have not already, join the channel, get subscribed for more videos like this. As always guys, train hard. I'll see you back here soon for another video.